Today I'm at the Golfo Dulce Retreat. This place is special, so let's go check it out. The Golfo Dulce Retreat is across from the Osa Peninsula in southern Costa Rica, one of the least developed parts of the country. You fly from the capital of San Jose into either Puerto Jimenez or Golfito. It takes a bit of work to get down here, but I think it's worth it. We missed our connection into San Jose, so we had to scramble and charter this plane at the last minute. It was expensive, but a really fun way to get down here. My mom's still talking about it. Once you're either in Golfito or Puerto Jimenez, the resort picks you up at the local dock in this cute little boat for a 30 minute ride across the beautiful Golfo Dulce. This area is known as a dolphin sanctuary, and it was nice of them to show up and greet us. As the boat arrives, the owners come out and greet you on the beach. Not a bad way to arrive. Then the owners take you on a five minute walk up to your room. They tell you all about the resort, and it was kind of like taking a walk in a botanical garden, surrounded by beautiful plants, some of which are labeled so you know what you're looking at. As we arrive at the room, maybe this is a good time to give you a bit more info about this place. This is a five villa boutique resort run by an Italian couple who, in my humble opinion, have fantastic taste. More on them in a minute. Four of the five villas are set up like the one I'm about to show you and there's a slightly larger family villa that sleeps up to four. So yes, kids are welcome. The villas are really private too, spaced pretty far apart so you feel like you kind of have your own corner of the jungle. This villa is normally set up for two people, but they threw in an extra bed because I was traveling with my mom. Anyway, you can put three people in one of these villas pretty comfortably. Like I said, the owners have fabulous taste. I love the tropical chic decor with the high ceilings, how this whole wall opens up, the open air concept, the whole thing's yummy. By the way, there's no AC and I didn't miss it for a minute. This fan does the trick. The good design flows right into the bathroom slash closet area, which flows into this garden slash outdoor shower area, which is also really well done. You guys know, I love me a great outdoor shower. Then there's this comfy veranda with nice seating, a really pleasant view into your own private jungle, and this lovely hammock. One of my favorite parts of this stay was laying here during a light afternoon rain. So relaxing. Pools in the jungle, about 100 feet from the communal dining and hangout area. It's super pleasant and peaceful, but I don't think this is the sort of place to hang out by the pool all day and drink margaritas. The pool gets limited sun anyway. The jungle's kind of funny that way. And there are plenty of other fun activities to keep you entertained. My go-to activity here would be hiking. But let me stop here and say that this place gets a 10 for sustainability. It's all too rare that I get to say that. The owners bought a thousand acres of land and dedicated 98% of it to conservation. But you can still hike around on this land. And by the way, on behalf of the planet, thank you for this wonderful gift, Mrs. and Mr. Owner. You have the option to hike on the trails that are on the property. You can do a lot of that on your own. 
but do watch out for snakes. And you can go on longer hikes, in which case I'd suggest a guide that the resort can line up for you. And because the resort borders the Piedras Blancas National Park, you could hike for days. Back to sustainability for a second. These guys even have their own little hydroelectric power plant. So 100% of the energy is renewable and they also grow a lot of their own food. Besides hiking, you can walk on the beach, but be aware that this is not a beach destination. Yes, there is a beach and the setting is gorgeous, but the beach itself is a bit rocky. Swimming in the Gulf is nice too and they have a nice swim platform you can use. They also have paddle boards and kayaks. I tried the paddle boarding, and because this place is on the Gulf, the water's calm and easy to paddle in. There's no gym here, but they do have daily yoga in the pavilion above the common area. I think my favorite thing about this resort is this common hangout space slash dining area. Someday I'm gonna have a house in the jungle and this is what my living and dining room will look like. No walls, fans, books, a hammock, nice furniture. It just all works so well together. This is where you come for all your meals. There are no other restaurants at this resort or anywhere else close by. For better or worse, you're stuck here, which is for the better if you're after seclusion, unplugging and unwinding. Sometimes not having to make decisions helps you relax. They give you a schedule for all your meals, and it's a set menu, but they do make accommodations for dietary restrictions. You know, normally I'd chafe at being told when and what to eat, but this didn't get old. I surrendered and I never regretted it. In addition to three meals a day, you also get afternoon tea which is beautifully presented and equally yummy. Most guests show up at dusk for pre-dinner drinks, so it's a nice chance to mingle with the other guests if you're into that. The owners have a specialty cocktail for each night, plus other drink options to choose from. Anyway, it's a fun way to kick off the evening. Okay, let's talk about the food for a minute. As I said, it's a fixed menu and I didn't mind one bit because the food was so, so good. The host Italian roots definitely come through in the cooking, but they also throw in local dishes and spices to make the meals interesting and wonderful. So I'm giving the food a 9.5. It would have been a 10, but my mom didn't rave about it the way I did. My jaw dropped when she described the food as simply very good. So what else do you need to know before booking? In terms of cost, this is on the higher end. It depends a lot on what time of year you book, but it's definitely a splurge option. Also, there's a three night minimum stay. In terms of ratings, they get a zero for accessibility, a three for Wi-Fi speed, and it's only available in the common area. I've been to some great resorts around the world, and this for me has to be in the top five. The architecture and the design, unbelievable. The biodiversity, I've never seen anything like it. So many different species of plants and animals and the cooking, you have to come for yourself to try it. Remember, we're supported by our viewers, not the hotels we review. So help us out by smashing that like button and please subscribe.